The United Nations Refugee Agency has commended the federal government for its fair treatment of refugees within its borders. The deputy country representative spoke with TVC News as the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons organized an awareness walk in commemoration of the day in Abuja. Moyo Thomas reports. 20th of June has come around again. It is a day set aside by the United Nations to create awareness on the plight of refugees around the world. Nigeria is commemorating this day with an awareness walk in Abuja, organized by the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced. The Federal Commission affirms the government's commitment to the general well-being of refugees. And they have the right to decide where they want to be. And Nigeria is the home for refugees. Uh, so long as uh, we have them living peacefully amongst uh, people. Because they, uh, unfortunately with our crisis in the not we to have uh, Nigerians living as refugees outside the country. A gesture UNHCR says Nigeria is already doing. UNHCR is so grateful to the government of Nigeria for allowing refugees to live on an equal basis with nationals and have access to all the all the services. So um, I personally feel so lucky that I'm able to work in Nigeria as really one of the most generous and, and welcoming uh, countries of asylum in the world. Yeah, we are beginning to feel at home. Cho Ernest is one of the over 84,000 refugees in Nigeria. He says he fled the unrest in his home country, Cameroon, to seek refuge in Nigeria. The situation where you found in the English-speaking Cameroonian, all the appointees, head of department, directors, doctors, commissioners of police and delegates, you know, all were appointed French people. But they were in an English zone where our parents, we, some of us, don't understand French. Then the judicial system, the same. The judge of a court is a francophone sent to handle a court in the northwest province, which is purely English. So when we stood up and say enough is enough, uh, instead of looking into the problem, they wanted to suppress more. And then we, like activists, say we will not sit and watch. So it snowballed into a civil uh, crisis that some of us now were then haunted. Many were killed, thousands were killed. You can watch on TV right up to date. It's a full scale blown war one of the most uh, underreported war in the world as we talk now. So that prompted us to run to the neighboring country where we felt at home. Though he has been able to find a venture in Nigeria that pays his bills, his ultimate desire is to have a safe country to return to. To an extent, I believe for peace to go to, for peace to return, Nigeria has a number one role to play. The international community, you the good people of Nigeria have to, it can be you tomorrow, you know, peace is not guaranteed to anybody, even Israel that are God's chosen people, they are always at. So it can be you. So individuals like you, journalists like you, should tell our story and tell our cry. We wish the problem home to be solved so that we can go back home. After all, home is home. With increasing conflicts, violence and harsh impact of climate change globally, numbers of refugees and unplanned displacement is equally on the increase. Ensuring safe access and no discrimination of people on the move is a collective responsibility. This day reminds us that refugees are fighting battles. So wherever you see one, the message remains, be kind to them. Moya Thomas, TVC News. Abu